Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today for the old Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going to be covering the final Zoan fruit possessed by the XCP9 agents, the Ushi Ushi no Mi Model Giraffe. The Ushi Ushi no Mi Model Giraffe is a Zoan type fruit that allows its user to transform into a giraffe as well as a giraffe human hybrid. Whoa. This fruit was originally acquired by unknown means by Spandam and subsequently fed to Kaku in order to continue boosting the strength of CP9. Now the fruit takes its name from the Japanese word Ushi meaning cow, ox or bull, which is quite interesting because as I'm sure you've all noticed by now, a giraffe is none of those things. And the reasoning for this has to do with the Japanese classification system of the animal kingdom, specifically the word Ushimozu, which is the translation for the word Dactyla, meaning the order of even-toed ungulates, of which giraffes, bisons, and big round things comprise, amongst many, many other creatures. In this case, the model name Giraffu is a bit more obvious, being derived directly from the English word giraffe. And as a result of the above, as well as the already established trend with the Ushi Ushi no Mi having been translated with the bison fruit we covered earlier in the encyclopedia, what we have here from Viz is the Ox Ox Fruit Giraffe model, while Funimation presents us with the Ox Ox Fruit model giraffe. All right though, let's get into it. So you've decided to become a giraffe giraffe human. First of all, congratulations. You've chosen an, an uncommon path in life, but certainly not one without reward, I think. I mean, giraffes do present many natural benefits, such as an incredible general increase in mass. A northern giraffe, for example, can weigh around 800 kilos, but there are others who can go all the way up to 1.7 tons. So that's potentially almost two tons of force at your disposal, should you care to wield it. More than likely in your human giraffe hybrid form, because uh, look, I'm not so sure about the full giraffe form and what it has to offer in the world of utility. By far the best thing it will probably grant you is a fairly incredible running speed, or more accurately an ambling speed of up to 52 kilometers per hour, which is, it actually is pretty incredible. I certainly didn't think that giraffes would be able to travel that fast, but even with that, that's the most I can see the full giraffe form providing. Other general activities like swimming, climbing, and sitting are almost out of the question. Although that does bring up the point that giraffes spend the large majority of their lives simply standing, including when they're sleeping and giving birth. And this sort of stamina and endurance would be incredibly valuable to access, especially in the hybrid form of the the Ushi Ushi no Mi model giraffe. And the user could pursue such careers as lollipop person or statue busker. You know, all the good stuff. But let's get into the major feature here, which is that upon consumption of this fruit, you will automatically become one of the tallest mammals on the planet. But most of that height will be entirely due to your wildly elongated neck, which significantly reduces the whole height advantage thing. The neck actually acts as quite a disadvantage in the realm of combat specifically, as it is easily targeted by an opponent and represents a huge liability to yourself. Or it would be disadvantageous for an inexperienced fighter anyway. But in the hands of veteran combatants, this weakness can be transformed into a mighty asset. And that seems like a rather apt transition to begin talking about Kaku's use of the fruit, because for the first time in the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we'll actually be speaking about a user who consumed their fruit and had absolutely zero time to experiment with it before being thrown into a fight. Kaku had to very much adapt to his new giraffe lifestyle on the fly, and he did pretty amazingly at it, actually. For example, in regards to the massive weakness of the neck, Kaku not only found a way to contract it defensively, but also also proceeded to use the force generated by releasing it as an attack of its own, very much just like a giant she-gun. Not only that, but Kaku actually explored using his neck as an exceptionally dangerous whip, and even used it to enhance his natural mastery of the Rokushiki technique Rankyaku, by using his neck to gain incredible momentum, and then with both legs craft a 360 degree Rankyaku strike. Very fearsome, yes yes. At the same time, Kaku did have a fair bit of trouble with his giraffe powers quite early on, and it really is a supreme credit to him that he was able to turn this fruit into something very viable. But much of that can be attributed to his prior mastery of the Rokushiki and his general creativity in battle. I mean, a lot of the time, Kaku even created techniques by accident, such as when he retracted his neck so much that it was completely gone, which had the effect of making his arms and legs longer, you know, somewhat like putting dough through a pasta machine. And subsequently, this attack was named pasta machine. As for the idea of awakening, while thinking about most Zoans achieving this form is a pretty scary thought, the Ushi Ushi no Mi model giraffe is, is just kind of funny. Look, it would more than likely turn out like the other herbivorous Zoans we've seen, blending in pretty strongly with the Jailer Beast of Impaled Down, just with a longer, chunkier neck. But the really great thing about awakening this fruit though is that more so than any other we've examined, it should be fairly easy to maintain control of yourself rather than succumb to primal instinct. Because I mean, giraffes are pretty damn graceful and laid back about life, so even in an awakened form, I can't see the user of this fruit going on some sort of mindless rampage, unless it involves a regal stroll across the savannah to om nom nom some twigs. But once again, I need to point out that in the hands of someone who can actually wield this fruit properly, such as Kaku, this awakening may be essentially a free pass to significantly greater power, speed, and recovery, making it a phenomenal choice for those who are predisposed to its quirkiness. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a giraffe human. Weirdly enough, a giraffe's neck is actually too short to reach the ground, which means that as a result, you may find yourself in need of awkwardly spreading your legs to drink from a watering hole in full beast form. 
more. Although luckily we do have another fairly incredible benefit to come in the area of sleep, or lack thereof really, as giraffes only need between 5 to 30 minutes of sleep per 24 hour period. Not only that, but it doesn't even need to be 30 minutes straight. They could take power naps in blocks of 2 minutes or so, which for the right person would lead to an incredible surge in productivity, more or less allowing you to live two lives at once. I mean, so long as you don't expend extreme amounts of energy, I guess. So what we've got on our hands here is a bit of a strange zone. The giraffe is such a unique creature that it does allow for some very creative and niche explorations, but I maintain that you would need to be a very solid user of the fruit to get much out of it. I don't think that the average human could consume this and see a lot of benefit without a hell of a lot of time to get used to its strangeties. And not everyone is a superhuman secret agent with a weirdly rectangular nose. So look, if it was me, personally, I'd wait for a different zone. But if you'd like to be unique and love a challenge, then by all means, bon appetit. And with that, we are going to commit the Ushi Ushi no Mi model giraffe to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we're going to be leaving the zoo and venturing once more into the wonderful world of Paramecias as we examine the soapy glory of the Awa Awa no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produces in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Ushi Ushi no Mi model giraffe. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. So, Husbando wants to know why the giraffe is cubular. I have an answer for you. It's the only answer, and it is the correct answer. The reason why the giraffe is cubular is because the giraffe was originally a cube that ate the giraffe giraffe fruit. I wish I had more for you, but sometimes the simplest answer is in fact the correct one. Good evening, all.